Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Amber the Happy Homemaker. Today we are going to be doing another thrift to treasure makeover on a piece of furniture that I found at my local Goodwill. And this is the piece of furniture that I picked up. It is in really, really rough shape. Um, but I thought it had good bones. It is natural wood and I picked this up for $4.99 So it had been sitting there every time I went in there for like a month And I thought I would just take it home and try to see if I can bring new life into this piece of furniture So the first thing I'm going to do is start sanding the top if you've seen my video where I picked up a dresser off the side of the road um, and that is now in my son's room it is white with a gray top and he has been asking for a nightstand because his older sissy has one so I thought this would be a perfect thing to kind of incorporate into his room to match the white and gray uh, theme that he has going on in there so that's what I wanted to try to do is in just to bring this whole thing back to life with that so I'm just starting by sanding the very top with my detailed sander um, and I am using a 90 grit sandpaper because I think it was previously painted before as well So there was a lot of layers on here that I needed to get off So I'm just gonna make sure I have a nice good clean surface to work with So next I'm just going to remove all the hardware. I will be putting this back on, but I just wanted to take it all off so I can kind of give that a different kind of paint so um, it really stands out. So it was this gold and it was kind of getting patinaed because who knows how old this dresser is. Um, so I wanted to give that a little touch up of paint as well. So, but anyways, just want to get that off of there so I have a nice clean surface to work with when I start painting. And I am going to start by doing the top of the dresser with the, this smoke gray and the stain. Um, I use this for a lot of my projects. I just love this tone of gray. Um, and what I don't show in this video is I do end up using two coats of this because when I did the one, it just wasn't dark enough for me. So I did end up using two coats of this and it came out to perfect how I, perfectly how I wanted it. So next I'm just going to work on my drawers and remove the hardware. I just really find this hardware really unique so I definitely wanted to reuse them on this piece again. Now I'm just going to tape the top where the stain in the white paint is going to go so I have a nice even line um, on the top where it doesn't bleed. I'm using my Rust-Oleum milk paint in the classic white. Um, I get a lot of questions about this, the milk paint as opposed to the chalk paint. In my opinion, the milk paint is just a little bit thinner so if you're using it on a piece of wood that um, has a lot of 
wood grain that you're wanting it to go through. I would definitely use the milk paint if you're wanting to go with that look um, just because it is a little thinner. The chalk paint is very thick, thicker, so it uh, gives a nice good coverage on any piece that you're using. So um, again, there's pros to both um, and I do end up using both of them all, quite a lot so um, there's not one I like more than the other they're just equally good in their own way so I would highly recommend both of them for any project really because they both work really well. And when I am doing my painting projects, I always brush the first layer on and then I roll the second coat. And this, I definitely needed a second coat because it is really dark paint that was on there before. So I'm gonna be brushing the first coat on, rolling the second, and that will give me a nice good coverage that I'm looking for. So we are in the process of starting our renovations in the kitchen. So those videos will be coming out very soon. I'm so excited to show you the kitchen and what we have been working on. Um, and then after we get done with that part, the fall decorating will continue. <laughs> We're just kind of taking a break and I'm trying to make it so everything's not so fall, 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 fall on the next video. I'm trying to break it up for you because I know you guys like these trash to treasure videos and the DIYs. So I'm going to kind of be doing a nice little mix coming up very soon to this channel. So now I'm just going to use the Rust-Oleum and the flat gray primer to paint my hardware. And I didn't have any gray spray, pa spray paint besides this and it matched the top of the dresser so well after I got the second coverage of stain on there. Um, I just thought both of those grays look really well so I didn't actually use a spray paint. It was just the primer on my hardware and I think it matched really well. So now I'm just gonna give my second coat with the roller. And again, I always like to do the brushing first, rolling second, just to give it that nice, good coverage that I'm looking for. Next, I'm just going to use this Rust-Oleum chalk protective coverage, and it is just a spray that you put on um, any on top of any paint. And I cannot recommend this product enough. It is so good. I use it for tons of my projects to make sure everything is nice and sealed in and protected by any water or anything like that. Because they are kids, this is going in a kid's room, and you know. He doesn't use coasters, <laughs> but this will help protect that. So just wanted to put my hardware back on there and put the dresser drawers back in. And we are almost complete with this project. And I just love how those gray handles stick up against the, or stick out against the top of the stain. I think they just match so well. So I'm just gonna put everything back together and then we're gonna be putting our other hardware pieces back on the dresser as well.
and this alone would have been perfect but I thought because there was such interesting hardware to this that I needed to put those corners back up as well so we will be going and doing that in here in a second but just to kind of show you how the gray matches to the top I just think it, it looks so good so just again gonna add these finishing touches and we will be complete with this project so I think these are the exact little finishing touches that this dresser needed and it's hard to believe that this once was a piece of trash that nobody wanted into this amazing piece of furniture that will be going in my son's room for years to come. So the last thing that I'm going to do on this project is just spray it again with a Rust-Oleum chalk protective seal just to give everything a nice good coat and nothing chips off. And that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys! How many songs? about heartbreak